integration using the TI-89 graphing calculator. The definite integral is described as the integral of f from a to b and is defined as the integral sign, the lower limit of integration is a, the upper limit of integration is b, the function is the integrand f of x, x is the variable of integration dx. When you find the value of the integral, you have evaluated the integral. Function integration is defined by the area under the definite integral. The TI-89 function is the integrate function and it contains the parameters, the expression, which is your integrand f of x, the variable, which is your variable of integration, your lower limit a, and your upper limit of integration b. Let's take a look at an example. Let's evaluate the integral from negative 7 to 0 for the function 16x plus 11 dx. Here's the TI-89 graphing calculator solution. We'll use the integrate function. We'll put in our expression 16x plus 11. We'll put in our variable of integration which is x. We'll put in our lower limit of negative 7 and our upper limit of 0. For our integrate function, we'll simply press F3. Integrate is our second option. So I'll press Enter. I'll enter the function 16x plus 11. I'll insert a comma. The variable of integration is x. The lower limit is negative 7. Insert a comma. The upper limit is 0. I'll end off my integral with the in parentheses. And we have a value of negative 315. Let's take a look at another example. Let's evaluate the integral from 0 to power 4 for the expression 3 secant squared x dx. For the TI-89 solution, we'll use the integrate function. We'll put in our expression. And if you remember from trigonometry, that the secant square is equal to 1 over the cosine square. So we'll enter in our function as 3 divided by the cosine of x squared. Our variable is x. The lower limit is 0. The upper limit is power 4. So we'll press F3. We'll use the second option, which is the integrate function. We'll put in our expression 3 divided by the cosine of x. I'm going to close off my argument for cosine and then I'll square. I'll insert a comma. Our variable is x. Our lower limit is 0. Our upper limit is pi over 4. I'll press enter. And we have a value of positive 3. Thank you for watching.